Is there anything better than coffee and a muffin in the morning? Coffee, a muffin, and pineapple in the morning. Pineapple's my favorite, I love pineapple. Okay, so uh, it's the next morning. We're gonna continue on towards Calgary in this vlog and deliver this freight. I'm gonna see what's going on with all this police action they're talking about. They're gonna find me if I'm early, so I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll see what happens. I gotta be there for noon on the button. Noon, not a minute sooner. So, uh, we're gonna be there at 11.10, but we're gonna wait down the road. I don't wanna be late, because if they're gonna find me for being early, I don't wanna know what they're gonna do to me if I'm late. Let's reset all our gauges here. We did terrible on fuel on this trip, terrible. Seems we're driving against, we'll be driving against wind again today. We picked this load up in St. Joseph, Missouri, and we headed north up to Canada, right? Headed straight into a wind coming out of the north, straight against wind. As soon as we got home, we stayed home for a night. The next morning, the wind shifted coming out of the west. We're going straight west, straight into the wind the whole way. It's just been awful. But it is what it is. Let's get going. We're about, well, we're 132 kilometers from the city. So it should take us about an hour and a half to get there. So we're uh, gonna go wait at the Flying J in Southeast Calgary. From there, it's about 20 minutes across the city to the southwest, where we have to deliver this steel. We're gonna be at the Flying J at 11.10. So we're only gonna be there for a short little while before we head over to the delivery site. There's no truck stops anywhere near this delivery site, so that's convenient. Ooh, a little slippery here in Calgary. We arrived here at the Flying J. Just gonna park here for probably about 20 minutes. Just to make sure I'm not early. I've never been so worried about being early before. <laughs> I'm not gonna park in the pumps, don't worry. Don't worry, I can already hear you. And then we'll find a parking spot. And I think I found one. Nice, look at this. Pull through. So we're gonna wait here and uh, see what they have for us after this. Uh, well, I guess we know they have a reload for us in Edmonton that's going to Illinois. That guy in front of me is got the same load. Apparently we both have noon appointments. I hope that's true because I know I have a noon appointment. So if he's trying to sneak ahead of me, I'm not going to be very happy. But if we've got, both got noon appointments, well then I guess that'll work out. I guess they're expecting both of us then. But yeah, I just caught up to this guy and I came up beside him at a stoplight and I asked him, like, you got a noon appointment too? He's like, yeah, you too. I guess we're both showing up at the same time. Same appointment. I hope that's not a screw up because one of us can't stay out here on the street. The cops will come and give us a ticket, right? We gotta be able to get into the site. Because there's all this construction work going on here right now. I haven't seen any cops yet, but they said that they're giving tickets. So they're building a highway here, overpasses, a, a, a commercial zone, industrial zone, and we're delivering steel to one of the industrial buildings or the commercial buildings or something being built. That guy had the bigger load. <laughs> Mine was a lot easier to tie down. He's gonna make me late though. He's going kind of slow. Because it's gonna make us both late. Better too slow than too fast, I guess. We've been warned there are cops around here. Okay, so our site is off to the left. Not this here, but we gotta go around to the other side to get to the entrance. 
Uh, buddy, 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 what you, buddy? What is he doing? In 100 meters at the roundabout, take the third exit. I think he might be trying to guide us in. I think that might be our guy who's waiting for us because he had his hand waving out the window. You see that there? So I'm just following the guy in front of me now. So if he goes the wrong way, at least it's not my fault. I'm pretty sure that that pickup is the guy who's waiting for us. Exit the roundabout. The time is 12.03. So we are three minutes behind, but hey, we only they only told us we'd get a ticket if we showed up early. So we didn't show up at 11.59, we're here at 12.03. I think that's pretty, pretty close. Where are we going here? Where are we going? So off to the left here, they're building a Costco. And if you shop at this Costco in Southwest Calgary, if you ever come here and shop here, you think of me. I hauled the steel for this building. Wouldn't have been able to build it without me. I know they would have just hired someone else, but hey, let me feel important. There he goes. I'm going to go in here as well. We've got to cut this wide. This is not made for trucks. Oh dear. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, bump it a bump. Yeah, that was the guy we're following. Okay, good. Good, well they made it super easy for us then. They could have made it a lot more difficult. You're gonna wait there, Mr. Boom Truck? Okay. I'm following my friend over there. Oh yeah, here's where the gas pumps are gonna be. Okay, okay. I haven't seen any cops though. Maybe they just told us that to make sure we were on time. <laughs> I just found out my bunk heater isn't working. It was working, and now it's not. Now that I need it the most, it's, it, it's not working. That's okay. But I gotta, I, I gotta end this vlog today here, guys. I'm just waiting to be unloaded now. Got the straps off the trailer. They're supposed to be coming around here any time to get this freight off of me. And we're gonna continue this tomorrow. Uh, I gotta head up to Edmonton, pick up a load of lumber there. It's going down to Illinois around the Chicago area. So I guess I'll talk to you then. But thanks for hanging out with me today and rolling along with me. Hope you guys had a great time. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you hated it, hit that thumbs down button and share it with all your friends to, to, to show them how terrible it was. And if you liked it, you can also share it with your friends if you want to. Other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Say goodbye, Diesel. Say goodbye, Diesel.